now that we've made our background in the style of Claude Monet and the Impressionist painters, we can now decide on our bridge shape. I decided on this bridge. It's got nice arches. So here's my basic shape. I'm going to sketch it out. I'm going to start with straight line across. It'll have two sections. Um, then I'm going to have one base here coming out of the water. It'll be a rectangle. And around the same position over here, I'm going to have another base. I'm going to have my support beams up here. They're going to come a little taller than the bridge. I'll fix that when I paint it. About the same height. And then I'm going to have a nice arch. That's good. And then I'll have some supports here. Another nice arch. A couple supports. And another arch support. Okay, so you don't want it to get too detailed because you have to paint everything. I'm going to start with these shapes. I just put a tiny bit of paint on my brush. Now you can't erase this, so you need to take your time, be very, very careful, very precise in your painting. Just get a little bit of paint on the tip of your brush. Outline the shape first, and then fill it in smoothly. Make my tall supports going carefully around that outline. Remember, you can't erase the paint. So once it's down, you got to make it work, even if it was a mistake. I'm going to carefully come around there. It's okay if I have a little bit of pencil line. Once the paint is totally dry, I can erase that a little. Outlining this side. Don't let your paint be too thick because it dries funky when it's too thick. All right, so you want to carefully outline your shapes. Make those lines, those side lines, so neat and crisp. You see how slow I'm going around those side lines, making them really neat and crisp. That's important to give the dramatic effect of this painting. I'm going to draw the beam that the, I guess, cars actually drive over. Again, you want it really neat and crisp. So sometimes that means coming along with the tip of your paintbrush there. And then for the top, again, coming along with the tip of your paintbrush there, making it really, really nice and crisp. I'm going to continue along here. Coming with the tip of my paintbrush. If I get those scratchy edges, I gotta fix them by coming with a little bit more paint. All the way along. So we're creating the silhouette of the bridge. The silhouette is the black filled in outline of a shape. Silhouettes are very, very dark. They don't have any detail and they create a more dramatic effect. So we're creating emphasis and contrast. The sharp, crisp lines of our bridge are contrasting with the washy, impressionist background. Now my beam up here, maybe this is just a, a, like a guide rail or something. So this one can be a little thinner. You can always start thinner. You can't make it thinner after you've already made a thick line when you use this paint. But you can start thin and make it thicker. So I'm being really careful. So we're creating contrast. We're making the, the viewer see a really, really lovely washy background and then this very sharp, strong structure. 
and that creates a more exciting piece of artwork. There, my lines are pretty clean. I'm going to place this support as even as I can with that one. It might not be perfect. Maybe it's at an angle, and so you know it won't look perfect. That's okay. I'm doing it as carefully as I can. Then I'm going to paint the rest of this. Remember, carefully, neatly creep up to that side line. This is a nice way to do a side line. You put the brush down and then you creep up to it. That can help get a nice crisp line. Get a little more paint if your brush is thirsty. Creep up to that line with your brush. Coming around, creating that nice rounded top. This one is more rounded than my other one. I could fix it or I could leave it as is. Now I want to create my art structure. So I'm going to very carefully, because I want this to be a thinner line, just using the tip of the brush. I want this to be as neat as I can. So I'm taking my time and then I'm going to create these also thinner supports just the tip of my brush tip of my brush tip of my brush i'm going to do the same thing here now it got a little thirsty there i can see some background showing through so that means i need to add a little paint but i don't want to make my line thicker so i have to be very careful with how much of the brush i'm putting down at a time just that much not that much because I don't want that really big uh, bold line right there. I want a slender line. It can be slender and still be a strong support. I'm gonna make that support. That support there. The key is taking your time, starting with a good design, taking your time, and then cleaning up any edges. So maybe I want to clean up this edge. It's a little ragged. There, cleaned it up. All right, last step. I'm just going to vary as small as I can with this brush, or I'll get a smaller brush. I'm just going to write my initials. K, R, C, and I'm done. I'm done my Claude Monet inspired bridge painting.